Hello. Temperatures will be levelling up across the UK in the next few days. But for the time being, we still have the cold air in place across the south, much milder air further north. But this weather front is moving in and it will be heading south, bumping up against this area of high pressure, which is still dominating the weather to the south and where we've got clear skies and the cold air a frost reforming here and also some fog patches. Slowly though, the cloud is trickling in from the north and that cloud is thick enough for a bit of light rain and drizzle over northwest England. And there's the weather front bringing rain to western Scotland, heading down towards Glasgow by dawn and into the north coast of Northern Ireland too. Still, we've got the mild air in place here, however, so it will be a mild night, but the colder air further south where the skies stay clearest longest. Again, a fairly hard frost below freezing in towns and cities, well below in rural spots. And there will be some mist and fog around, particularly through the evening, but still the odd patch for the morning rush hour too. So just bear that in mind for Wednesday morning's commute. It should steadily clear as the cloud continues to push southwards. A damp start through the central belt and for parts of Northern Ireland, but the rain is tracking its way into Northern England, into North Wales, and we could see a little bit of light rain and drizzle ahead into parts of the Midlands, maybe the southwest. But generally, much of the south will stay dry. And as that weather front pulls away, Northern England brightening up a touch and for much of the day, Northern Ireland, Scotland looking much brighter on Wednesday with sunny spells. There will be a brisk northwesterly wind which will bring showers into the northern half of Scotland. They'll come and go through the day. And that is a cold front, so colder air is following on behind, but still temperatures 8 or 9 Celsius across the north. Further south, temperatures perhaps a little bit higher, but it, it won't feel any warmer, I don't suspect, through Wednesday, because it's going to be fairly glum, a, a grey and fairly dank and cold feeling day. The rain and drizzle will continue to fizzle out, but maybe bring a few spots across southern England before it ebbs away. And then we've all got the clearer air as we head through Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. So we will see some frost, but it won't be as cold as the nights have been recently across the south. Thursday's weather is then dry and bright for the vast majority. There'll be a fair bit of cloud across parts of eastern England, eastern Scotland, a few showers just maybe grazing North Sea coast. But for most, it'll be dry and certainly in the west, decent spells of sunshine. Quite light winds here, but I suspect this wind will feel pretty cold on these North Sea coasts and particularly uh, gusty for a time through the Dover Strait. Temperature-wise, well, we've got the levelling up going on, so we're generally 7 or 8 degrees Celsius, so turning a little cooler across the north, slowly temperatures rising a touch across parts of the south. As we look to the outlook, high pressure will continue to dominate. So that weather front sinking south over the next 24 hours will pull away. And then the high pressure is still with us, but now it's shifted out west where it will dominate for the next several days, actually, around the top of it, weather fronts trying to bring some cloud and rain at times to northern Scotland. But this high will bring most places a dry spell for several days, including the weekend. For more of a deep dive into the weather, check out our latest video on YouTube. And of course, make sure you're following us right across social media.